Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. Setting the travel limits can now be done in a few easy steps. Programming the limits allows you to control where the gate will stop in the open and closed positions. And if you need to fine-tune any one of the limits later, there is no need to go through the entire setup procedure. Each limit can be adjusted individually without affecting the other. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Please consult the manual for complete instructions and safety information. Using the SL3000, we'll demonstrate how to set handing, program the limits, and adjust the force on a LiftMaster gate operator. You'll need access to the control board. Please note that the test buttons on the control board will not work until the handing is set. For dual gate applications, the limits will have to be set for each operator. The gate must be attached to the operator before setting the limits and force. We'll begin with the gate in the closed position. Prior to setting the limits on an AC operator, you must first determine the handing. Handing refers to the direction the operator opens the gate as seen when facing the operator and gate. To set the initial handing of the operator, make sure that both open left and open right LEDs are flashing. If they are not flashing, press and hold both the open left and open right handing buttons until both handing LEDs start to flash and the operator beeps. Press and release either the open right or open left button depending on which direction the gate should open. The corresponding handing LED will turn solid. The handing is now set. To program the limits, first make sure the gate is closed. Press and release the Test Open button to open the gate. Press the Stop Test button when the desired open limit is reached. Adjust the limit nut or cam so it makes contact with the open limit switch at this position. If the gate stops early, move the limit nut or cam to allow for additional travel. Now press and release the Close Test button to close the gate. Press the Stop Test button when the desired close limit is reached. Adjust the limit nut or cam so it makes contact with the Close Limit switch at this position. If the gate stops early, move the limit nut to allow for additional travel. Run it once or twice to be sure you are satisfied with the setting. The limits are now set. Limit cams for swing gate operators appear slightly different, but function similarly. Adjustments are made using an Allen wrench. You must set the initial forces and run distance now before proceeding. To set the forces and run distance, press the Open Test button to open the gate. Press and release both the open left and open right handing buttons at the same time. Now press the handing button below the solid LED. To complete the programming, run the operator one full cycle using the test buttons. Limits, force, and run distance are now set. Force will be adjusted automatically as long as the dial is set between 4 and 9. Anytime you adjust the limits, you must also set the force and run distance again. The force dial factory setting is in the middle. The force setting should be high enough that the gate will not reverse by itself nor cause nuisance interruptions, but low enough to prevent serious injury to a person. The force setting is the same for both the open and close gate directions. Settings 1 through 3 are fixed force settings. There is no force adjustment. Settings 4 through 9 automatically increase the force due to gate wear and or temperature changes. 10 is the maximum setting and will not adjust up further. Please see the manual for exact methods of testing the force to ensure you have the correct settings for your installation. Environmental factors such as snow on the ground or strong wind may cause the gate to reverse if the force setting is not sufficient. Set the force high enough to avoid these nuisance interruptions, but low enough to prevent injury to a person. Be sure to test the safety reversal system after any adjustments. Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. Remember to visit us on the web at liftmaster.com or the dealer extranet.